Alrighty, welcome back to the channel everyone. This video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to essentially slice uh, a section of your 3D print model uh, and then cut and key it so that when you go to print it you're able to assemble it uh, with ease. So what we have here is an Agaron model. This is a uh, a model that I have printed out so it's already supported uh, and this is as big as I was able to get it on my printer um, as is so as you can see I oriented it in a specific manner so that I can get it as big as I uh, could might be able to get a little bit more out of it maybe um, but the client that I have is wanting essentially uh, twice as large and so I have a Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K, so that's a mid-size printer. And unfortunately, um, this is, like I said, as big as I can print it as is. So what we're going to be doing is, this is the uh, original size of the model, um, but what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be making a cut uh, digitally uh, right along here so that this is one part the tail and then this is another part the body and that way ignoring the tail I can scale this essentially twice as large uh, so as you can see it, it'll fit on here uh, without me having to worry about the tail and I can print that out separately as you can see that's quite a bit bigger yeah that's twice as big um, as what I was originally able to print it as so I'm going to show you guys how to do that this Agaron, uh, I'm going to be making a couple more videos on this, uh, including how to uh, do all the supports, as you saw, uh, and then uh, painting it. So definitely subscribe if you're into that sort of stuff, and be on the lookout for those uh, videos slash tutorials. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Mesh Mixer. So if you don't have this, Google it, download it. This is a very, very useful uh, tool for... Uh, making very very minor um, edits to your 3d prints or your 3d models so I, I have no experience in any of the other um, programs like blender I'm not a digital artist or anything like that I know the very very basics just enough to basically make cuts and keys uh, but it's a very very useful tool to have very very easy uh, definitely rewatch this a couple times if you need to because I'm gonna go through it uh, basically as quickly as I can so all you're gonna do is import your model. If it's an STL, that's fine as well. All right, I'm going to go to edit and transform. And all I'm going to do is just to make it easier on um, working on it, I'm just going to bring it above the, um, above the, uh, I guess the build plate here. So you're going to hit accept. You're going to have to do that every time you make some kind of adjustment. Uh, what we're going to be doing next is very simple. We're going to be doing a plane cut. So edit, plane cut. And essentially all this is, is it's going to cut right along the plane you see. So if I wanted this half, this half, for whatever reason, I can do that. If I wanted to, now it's going to go all the way. So keep that in mind. There might be other methods of, for example, if I want to just clip off this arm um, without having to sacrifice, because uh, like I said, it's going to go all the way through. So uh, just to give you an example, oh yeah, you can use this little line here actually your little cursor so if I wanted to just do this arm as you can see it's cutting into the leg uh, there might be a way of, of doing that uh, but for this method uh, you're gonna want a area where uh, you're want you're okay with cutting the entire plane uh, so right here we're okay with that if I draw a little line bam perfect it's gonna separate the tail from the body uh, now you can make some adjustments with the sliders here so the blue green and red different the different axes uh, to uh, slide it up down left right in out or uh, to rotate it however you see fit so I'm just gonna quickly doesn't have to be perfect I'm just keeping in mind for when I when it is printed uh, what's gonna be easier for me uh, obviously if I could you know make a cut in here you know and then when you put it together it hides the seam that would be great uh, unfortunately I don't know how to do that so this will have to do uh, but essentially you can click this little big blue arrow to uh, look at either side just to get a better idea of where you're cutting and that looks pretty good to me 
So yeah, once that once the, these are printed out and I put these together, there's going to be a seam right here, and there's enough room for me to uh, sand that down pretty easily. And I want to get this. Uh, let me rotate it a little this way and bring it in. And that looks good to me. So uh, all we're going to do here is once we position where we where we want the cut, come back up here. Uh, you're going to keep both then hit accept so now it made the cut but these are still a single model uh, so the next step you're gonna hit separate shells and all this is gonna do is this is gonna actually separate them so as you can see here in this object browser I can hide one or the other so that's two models uh, so if you want to leave it at that honestly uh, for certain cuts you can just print you can just save this as is you can file export and then bam this is your piece uh, but that's not very good for, uh, I mean, that might be, uh, you know, for example, if you have a failed print and you're wanting to print out a specific part, you can um, do this. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to create an actual hole and a key. So how do we do that? Uh, well, I'll show you. Just want to make sure that this is good. Yeah, that's good. All right. So let's focus on the key first, then we'll focus on the hole. So I want the key to be on the tail. It doesn't really, really matter. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. So we're going to hide uh, the part we're not working on. So we're working on this part here. What we're going to do is come to Mesh Mix. And we're going to use a square to put a peg right here. Don't use... I, 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 I just have to say something about this. I can't stand modelers that use round pegs. It makes no sense because this is going to spin once it's printed. And you try and put this together, it's, you're, you're still able to spin it. And it's not a perfect fit and is it makes no sense uh, so yeah don't use that control Z yeah don't use that use a square so we're just gonna drag and drop it you can reposition it with this guy get it centered you want a pretty equidistance from all the sides and if you want to make it a little smaller or if it comes out super big you can just adjust it as so so that looks pretty good to me I'm just, I'm just eyeballing it uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, again, for every little thing you do, you have to actually hit accept on it. Uh, so, oh yeah, no, we don't want to append to mesh. We want to create new object. Uh, so we want this as two separate objects, and you'll see why here in a minute. Uh, so create new object, hit accept. So now we have three. We have uh, the box uh, and then the two parts. So... All we're going to do from this point is we're going to select both the box or the key as well as the object here. So all we're going to do is hit one and then the other with control. Or if you come here and you're clicking both of these, you can hit uh, shift uh, and it'll select both of them. If you hit shift here, it's going to select all of them. So just control, um, control, right click. And this thing's going to pop up. All you're going to hit is Boolean Union. I don't know what that means, uh, or I don't know what Boolean means, but uh, essentially all that means is it's, it's going to uh, fuse the two. So uh, what you're wanting to do is these settings just match what I'm doing here. Click that auto reduce results off and hit accept. So make sure you match these settings because that's essentially the precision of the uh, fusion. Hit accept. And now, as you can see, we no longer have three objects, we have two. Uh, so now this is the keyed part, as you can see. And from this point, we're going to go to File and Export. Uh, label this as Agron Tail. Hit Save. And just to make sure that it is good, get rid of these guys. Come back here. Uh, Save it to my desktop. Where are you, desktop? And Agaron tail. Bam. Pretty simple. Perfect. Just to double check, I can... Uh, I'm going to hollow it. So that's something you want to make sure that it, it uh, worked out. Um, because sometimes that'll create issues if you hollow it and it's all weird looking inside. But that is looking perfect. So that's the key. As you can see, the box looks perfect on there. 
Maybe like a little tiny thing right there. That's not a big deal. All right. Um, go back to Mesh Mixer. So now what we're going to do is we want to use this box in the exact same position that it's in, the exact same size, but we want to place it into the second place. So what we're going to or the second part. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit Control Z until you get back that second part or the separate part of the box. That makes sense. Um, so now that we have that back, we're going to delete this guy here. Oop. It didn't separate. Control Z. All right, so we got that back. And yeah, this still isn't separated, so Control Z again. Uh-oh, that's not good. Did it work? Yep, it worked, okay. So now we get rid of this. You can hit the little trash can here. So yeah, we have the parts, perfect, good to go. We're gonna bring this guy back. So as you can see, it's now flush onto this side. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to click both just like last time how we fused them except for instead of fusing them We're going to hit boolean difference. So again click both of them control uh, on both of them and Then boolean difference now for this one you want to make sure you hit the part first hit the part first hit the box or the key step uh, second Because it's a subtraction uh, So the fusion doesn't matter you're adding both of them together the subtraction matters which one's first you're subtracting the box you're essentially making a hole from the aggron, not the other way around. Um, so we're gonna hit Boolean difference. Oh, uh, actually, real quick, I forgot one step. This is a really simple step, but essentially we have the box, everything's the same. But what you wanna make sure you do is you wanna edit it and you want to, to do where's transform, transform. So when you 3D print a key and a cut, uh, when resin prints, there is a little bit, bit of shrinkage involved. Uh, so if we were to have this the exact same size, the hole is the exact same size as the key, it's gonna you're going to have a, a hard time squeezing that in there. It's not going to fit properly. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to come here, and you can see, see the uh, sizes. You want to just increase that just a little bit. Uh, so this is like an 8.13, blah, blah, blah. We're going to hit uh, 8.4, uh, 6. Uh, just yeah point by point four is fine uh, six bam and so we're gonna hit accept so this is ever so slightly larger than the key the hole is gonna be ever so slightly larger than the key because uh, if it's not uh, you're gonna have to take a dremel to it you're gonna have to bore out the hole and that's a pain in the butt uh, so th this way it's just ever so slightly larger and it's gonna slide in nicely after it's printed and it accounts for the shrinkage involved uh, with the printing process so now that we have that in there uh, we're going to, again, go back to Agaron, click the key, control, click them both, hit Boolean difference, do the exact same thing as you can see. Now it's a difference, it's subtracted, it's a hole. Search depth, go to zero, this one to 18. Click that off, zero, and my computer's not the fastest, so. All right, hit accept. Bam. Now it's one object. File. Export. Agron. Body. Easy as that, guys. Hopefully my explanations were not too difficult to follow. Come back here. Let's go ahead and open both of them again. And bam. Perfect. This is such a useful tool to have if you guys 3D print a lot of figures, uh, especially um, if you if you have a limited space on your uh, 3D printer. This is such an easy way of getting um, getting prints to fit uh, better, uh, really easy. And it doesn't work on all types of cuts. You know, if I wanted to cut off the arm like I showed before, it's, that's a, that's way trickier and that's above my pay grade. Uh, but for this, these simple cuts, very, very easy. So as you can see now, I can scale this up quite a bit larger than I had previously. Alrighty. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I plan on printing this out and painting him. So definitely uh, subscribe to see that process. Like the video if this was a helpful video for you guys. Um, 
I plan on also uh, supporting this guy. I gotta print him out, I gotta make supports. So I will do a video showing you guys how I go ahead and use the support functions. I think on this one, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the auto supports, because a lot of, uh, I actually have a previous, um, like an old video on how to make auto supports work as well as you can. And this is a pretty simplistic model that I think I'm gonna show you guys how to ensure that the auto supports work properly. Because you, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna just click auto supports and then print it and then think that it's going to work because nine times out of ten either it's going to fail or you're wasting resin because it's printing out uh, way too many supports so i'm going to show you guys like that like you know these are completely unnecessary uh so uh, like i said subscribe for that video like comment all that good stuff and i will see you guys next time take care